Uh, in this album, he would tackle uh, well-meaning hypocrisy in National Brotherhood Week, which is about racism and the fact that, that this is meant to be dropped uh, amazingly for a period of one week. Uh, includes lyrics, be nice to people who are inferior to you. It's only for a week, so have no fear, be grateful that it doesn't last all year. Uh, other songs on on this on this on this album, uh, he championed free speech in Smut, in particular uh, the freedom of pornography, uh, so, which included lyric: "When correctly viewed, everything is lewd. I could tell you things about Peter Pan and the Wizard of Oz. There's a dirty old man." Uh, and included other topical subjects such as pollution and nuclear proliferation, which are still topical today. Uh, he hasn't forgotten his academic roots uh, in a song called New Math, uh, which he, has, he was said, quoted as saying, This attempt to revise the teaching of mathematics in schools was something of a threat in 1965, but it subsequently passed through the curriculum, not like a breath of fresh air, but more like a kidney stone. However, his most controversial song, perhaps his most controversial song ever, was in response to the Catholic Church's attempts to become more accessible to the general public. They had replaced uh, part of the Latin Mass with the vernacular. And uh, so this is a clip now of, I don't know what show it's from, but he does forget the words at one point. It would be rude of me to point that out. Here's the Vatican rag. First you get down on your knees, fiddle with your rosaries, bow your head with great respect and genuflect, 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 and make do whatever steps you want if you have cleared them with the pontiff. Everybody say his own Kyrie, lay his own, doing the Vatican rag. Get in line in that processional, step into that small confessional, they're the guy who's got religion, I'll tell you. If your sin's original, if it is, try playing it safer. Drink the wine and chew the wafer. Two, four, six, eight. Time to transubstantiate. So get down upon your knees, fiddle with your rosaries, bow your head with great respect, and genuflex, genuflex, genuflex. Make a cross on your abdomen when in Rome, do like a Roman. Ave Maria, gee, it's good to see you. Getting ecstatic and sort of dramatic and doing the Vatican. That was his uh, most controversial song. Uh, a, a teacher, a teacher in New York, uh, was fired for playing this to his students as an example of satire. Uh, Tom Lehrer found that hilarious, and not particularly funny for the teacher, although he was later reinstated. Uh, but this album proved to be Tom's breakthrough album. Uh, it was, uh, society was becoming less prudish at the time, and uh, these songs were already designed for the general public. So finally he was getting some uh, airtime. Uh, in, in fact, uh, when he performed at the Hungry Eye in San Francisco, he proved to be the nightclub's biggest draw in six years. However, all this was not enough to persuade him to continue performing. His last performance was during this tour of Scandinavia. He went on this tour. I got a trip out of it. However, his last performance was at the Falconeer Centret in Copenhagen on September the 12th, 1967. Uh, <laughs> imagine that. Uh, imagine taking time out of your PhD just to go to Denmark. Uh, what a waste of time. However, he never actually returned to his PhD. He preferred teaching mathematics to researching mathematics, he decided, saying, I kept saying to myself, as if I ever get this dissertation written, I will never have to do any research again. Then I realised that I must be telling myself something, and so I decided enough is enough. I am familiar with that feeling myself. Uh, he did write a couple of papers. If you're interested, he co-authored a couple of uh, papers uh, on statistics. There they are. Uh, but he did say again later that uh, Simon succinctly 
I wanted to be a graduate student all my life, and they wanted me to be a PhD. The two goals were incompatible. So he returned to teaching uh, at Harvard and MIT, and he also took a position at the University of California, all the way on the west coast, uh, at Santa Cruz. Uh, there where he taught mathematics, and also he taught a course on musical theatre. He would occasionally uh, come out of retirement to do a benefit for some political figure that he felt was going to lose. He didn't want to be responsible for helping anyone win. Uh, but for, apart from that, uh, he continued teaching uh, and returned to academia as if nothing had happened in his life. Uh, he was asked to write uh, some songs for a children's television workshop program called The Electric Company. Uh, this was a, a TV program to help children to read. I'm going to play a clip from The Electric Company. This is a Tom Lehrer song. It's not his best song. Uh, I'm playing this simply uh, for the novelty of uh, it features a young Hollywood star. Oh, I know. You got salads? We got salads. What kind of salads? All kinds of salads. We got a green salad, sardine salad, tangerine salad, magazine salad, jelly bean salad, blue jean salad, and special today, gasoline salad. Gasoline? Baby, you gotta be kidding. No, sir, that is delicious. Every 6,000 miles, they change the oil of a crescent. Forget about the gasoline. Maybe I'll just have a dessert. Now, surely you got some simple dessert. Lots. You got ice cream? We got ice cream. What kind of ice cream? All kinds of ice cream. We got plum and rum and bubble gum. We got prune, the moon and macaroon. We got grape and made and scotch tape. We got lime and grime and chocolate slime. Sarsaparilla, mansanilla, casual <laughs> And of course, that's just plain old-fashioned gorilla. What'll it be? Let's forget about it, lady. I'll just trot on over here to the laundromat and have myself a bowl of soap flakes. Uh, that there is uh, Rita Marino. Uh, she she was Anita in West Side Story, and with Morgan Freeman. Uh, now, while Tom Lehrer was teaching mathematics, he had been approached a few times about making a turning his work into some sort of stage show. But in 1980, Tom Foolery opened uh, in London. So this was a review of Tom Lehrer's songs. And it was quite successful, and it was performed all over the world. Uh, Tom Lehrer said, It spread like herpes. I like it because I don't have to put much effort into, pr into promoting it. You don't have to advertise herpes. Now this was produced by a young British producer called Cabra Cameron McIntosh. There's Cameron McIntosh with Tom Lehrer. Uh, Cameron McIntosh went on to produce the mega hits uh, Cats and Les Miserables. Uh, Tom is proud of saying that the combined profits of Tom Foolery and Cats made Cameron a rich man. Uh, Tom Lehrer surprised everyone a few years, a few years later uh, when he performed at a royal gala in honour of Cameron McIntosh. Uh, and it, it being a royal gala, he got to meet the Queen, who you know, went, went by, shook his hand, uh, said, how do you do, what do you do? Uh, at a respectable distance, Prince Philip came along uh, and, and said, oh, you know, thank you for performing Pill Poison and Pigeons in the Park. Uh, it's a, you know, a favourite of ours, we used to play that all the time. When asked what the Queen thought of it, Princess Margaret said, oh no, she thinks it's horrid. She leaves the room when we put it on. Now retired, Tom Lehrer spends his time starting rumours that he's died and hoping that he will cut down on junk mail. Oh, it, it hasn't. He's never been married and doesn't have any children. Uh, he hasn't been married, doesn't have any children, and he's a fan of musical theatre. Yeah, well, his legacy is immeasurable. However, Tom Lehrer himself is sceptical on the importance of satire. Uh, it's not so much preaching to the converted, he said, but more like uh, titillating the converted. Uh, the only good he does is, is to show your friends that you think this is funny. He's fond of quoting Peter Cook, uh, who said when founding his establishment club uh, that the satirical venue was going to be modelled on 
for those wonderful Berlin cabarets which did so much to stop the rise of Hitler and prevent the outbreak of the Second World War.